the Ruth Rendell Mysteries with Inspector Wexford, followed by 10 Eyewitness News. This is 10 Eyewitness News with Ron Wilson and Sandra Sully. The growing police crisis. The Ombudsman versus the Minister. The family sect raids, tears and anger as its children stay before the courts. The Sydney return of public enemy number one, an escort under arms. Dangerous crossing, the train safety hazard on the Harbour Bridge. Good evening. First this hour, the crisis enveloping the state's police administration. Tonight, contradicting claims from the Ombudsman and the Police Minister. The main clash is over complaints of racism. Ombudsman David Lander says they're common. Minister Terry Griffiths says they're rare. Another difference of opinion. The Minister's assertion Tony Lauer is the best police commissioner the state has ever had. The incident revealed in Parliament yesterday occurred in Cabramatta three years ago when two police mirror the community as a whole. If we're talking about using the words, uh, honestly, I don't see too many pommies taking offence at it. A series of allegations in recent years concerning racist behaviour by police brought promises of change. I am confident that we have brought in structures and a chain of command that will minimise the opportunity for those things to ever occur again. We've heard that action will be taken, we've heard that certain things will happen, but in reality it's very hard to see or to establish that that has taken place. Police Commissioner Tony Lauer declined to comment on television but at the end of a week in which the police administration has been attacked daily, the minister backed Mr Lauer all the way. I believe that Commissioner Lauer is a very good commissioner. Is he the best the state's ever seen? I believe he's the best the state's ever seen. Well, uh, I don't, uh, I won't comment on that. Cutting off the head of the commissioner won't in itself resolve those problems of collusion, of, of occasional violence that have been pointed to in the Ombudsman's report. The parliamentary debate on the police service will resume on November the 16th. John Gatfield, 10 News. And more claims of police racism today by a young Cambodian couple who've lodged an official complaint with the Ombudsman. Cabramatta MP John Newman has also entered the debate calling for a full public hearing on alleged racism by the Cabramatta police. Cheng Lim and Chana Cheng are proud of the home they've... First at five in ten, Eyewitness News. More human remains found in the Blanglow State Forest. On Are You Being Served? Friday. Returning now to the day's top report, the discovery of two more backpacker murder victims in the Blanglow State Forest near Barrel. The bodies are believed to be those of German tourists Gabor Niegerbauer and his 19-year-old girlfriend Anya Habsheed. They're the sixth and seventh murder victims to be uncovered in the forest. Their bodies were found during a police line search of thick bushland only a kilometre east of the spot where Simone Schmidl's body was found on Monday. Like the others, at least one of these bodies was carefully covered with branches, dirt and leaves. Harry Potter's in the Belanglo Forest this evening. Harry, how soon are we likely to have a positive identity on these latest remains? Right, I'm being knocked off this mountain here with the winds that I mentioned earlier, Ron. Uh, the position is at the moment that it seems very little doubt now that uh, it is the two missing German backpackers. Um, I expect the police to confirm their identity tomorrow because forensic pathologists have arrived here. Of course, all the records relating to the missing people have, have been on standby. Uh, the police have had them at the ready for something like this, and uh, I expect the, the police to uh, make it official tomorrow morning. Harry, in your report at the head of the bulletin, you reported a possible pattern in the disposal of the bodies. What sort of pattern are we looking at? Uh, Ron, the obvious thing is uh, a Zodiac-type uh, pattern that was uh, a mark of one of the major killings overseas. Uh, I've been in the bush with other reporters today and we've, uh, we've been playing with maps and uh, marking the positions of the graves, uh, linking them up in various lines and patterns and, uh, of course, if, uh, if more missing hitchhikers are found, you'll have a bit more to work with. I must uh, uh, stress that it's only speculation at this stage. The police won't buy into anything of that nature, of course, and they'd be foolish to do so, but uh, this is such a bizarre series of uh, serial killings that uh, you're trying to think ahead all the time and maybe work out uh, uh, the psyche of the person or persons responsible. Yes, of course, and you've touched on another point there as well. Will the, will the search continue on? 
Yes, Ron. Um, the uh, the victims found so far have been featured widely in newspapers. We've had a, a, the police have had a fair idea of who they're looking for. Uh, the one thing we don't know, it's been suggested there, there could be uh, more than a dozen hitchhikers missing along the Hume Highway heading south or west or going to other states. Uh, they're not frequently in touch with relatives. It's possible that the families, uh, with what's going on here in the forest, may make contact with the police and uh, remind them that certain people haven't come home and that may open up new investigations. OK, thanks, Harry. Harry Potter keeping us up to date with the backpacker murders in the Belanglo State Forest. Leadership tensions in the Liberal Party deepened today with an open rift between John Hewson and a senior member of his shadow cabinet over native land title. National Development spokesman Ian McLaughlin wants the opposition to defeat Prime Minister Keating's Mabo legislation and 